Hello, good morning and welcome to the Dutch in Channel, Thursday 28th of March 2024, 20 past 9 in the morning. We're going to run through the Weatherby card now for the selections this afternoon. We've already done the Fontwell one, but don't get too excited over that because there's only about 20, 26, 27 runners in the whole of the meeting and very small fields there. But that has been uploaded for you. And what we're going to do, we're going to start off with the first race at Weatherby, the 210. Now, this is a maiden hurdle. But if you look down to the bottom here, there's a horse that hasn't run before. And this is called Pay Wave. It has no form at all. I can't get any ratings off of it. So that is basically a no race. So we just put a line through that one that'd be the first race at weatherby done but at least we have a, a half decent card here. there's plenty of runners and then we'll move into the 245 where five go to post here for a selling hurdle and my top selection here is art of diplomacy so that's the top selection and what we'll do as usual we'll go into matchbook and art of diplomacy that's currently trading at 6.6 .6 and stakes of 15 pound 15 pence would return 100 pounds and our second selection is marshalled and marshalled well, that's currently 4.9 so stakes of 20 pound 41 would return 100 pounds there and our third selection is made for you. This is second favourite, yep, at 3.55. So stakes here would be at a maximum. We can't do £28.17. We've only got £14.44 left. So that would be our stake for our third selection. And that would be our last bet. So made for you, £14.44 stakes. We would times that by 3.55 for the price. And returns there of £51.26. So basically our money back on that one. And we would have two running for us. That would be Art of Diplomacy and Marshalled. One of those two would return £100. We'll go back into the racing post, into the third race now, the 320. One non-runner here, which was my top selection, was Brule Noir. But that now is not running. That leaves seven there for a handicap chase. So we'll go into my spreadsheet. And the number one selection here is Harel du Marais. And Harel du Marais... Let's see where that features on Matchbook. And this is currently trading at five. So stakes there of £20 would return £100. And Royal Mayor, Royal Mayor, that's the favourite at the moment at 2.92. That's just over 15 to 8. Stakes there, we wouldn't be able to do those stakes. The maximum we've got is £30. So that would be our only other bet in that race. So Royal Mayor would be 30 for the stakes. Time 2.92 for the price. Would return us 87.60. That would be perfect. And the other selection running for us would be Harrell du Marais that would return £100. And going back in to the racing post, the 355, non-runner down the bottom there. I like the way you're thinking. And this is a handicap hurdle. And that now leaves 11 going to post. So we'll go into the 355. And our top selection here would be Good Look Charm. So back into Matchbook. 
into the 355 and good look charm there that's currently trading at 8.2 and stakes of £12.20 would return £100. Our second selection is Yes Day. And Yes Day, that's another one similar. That's 9.4. And stakes of £10.64 would return £100. And our third selection is No When to Hold Them. And that's currently trading at 7.2. That would require stakes of £13.89 to return £100. And our fourth selection is IDEM. And IDEM, this is a way down to the bottom there. That's currently trading at 16. And stakes of £6.25 would return £100. We've now staked £42.97 leaving us seven pound and three pence. Our fifth selection is Magical King. A Magical King is top rated there at 5.5. So we can't do the stake there of 1818. So it will be seven pound and three pence maximum. And that will finish our 50 pound stakes a magical king we would have seven pounds and three pence to win we would then times that by 5.5 sp and that would return us 38.66 which isn't bad considering it's the fifth selection down and it would be a slight loss of around 12 pounds and the other four running for us are good luck charm Yes, they know when to hold them and item. One of those four would return £100. And then moving back into the racing post, the 430 here, six go to post for a handicap chase. And our top rated selection here is Imperial Alex. Let's go back into matchbook for the 430. And Imperial Alex is currently trading at 1.74. So with all odds on ones that are top selections, you can only have a maximum of your allotted amount of 50 pounds on. So there'd only be one selection in the 430. That would be Imperial Alex. And then we'll go back into the racing post. This is for the penultimate race, the 505, a handicap hurdle where all 10 go. And our top selection here, it's Maisie. And then back into Matchbook. And it's Maisie. That's currently trading second favourite there at six. So stakes of 1667 would return £100. And our second selection would be Bullion Boss. And Bullion Boss, pretty much down the bottom, that's trading at 34. And stakes of £2.94 would return £100. And our third selection would be Kinder Kid. Even though it looks like Kinder Kid, they had an argument on the TV last week when it ran. And it was Kinder Kid, as in the Easter egg. And this is trading at 2.48 currently. So we're not going to be able to afford that. So maximum stakes on this one would be £30.39. And that would be our three bets for the 505. We'll start with Kinder Kid. And we've got 30.39, that's £30.39 stakes. Times that by just under 6 to 4 at 2.48. That would return 75.36. 
So yes, it would be a profit. That's the important thing. And the other two running for us, it's Maisie and Bully and Boss. One of those two would return £100. Then moving into the last race. And as you can see, another one of my favourites there, the National Hunt Flat Race with plenty of runners that have never seen the track. So this will be a line through it and that will be a no bet in the last race at Weatherby. So let's go back and do a quick recap. The first race at Weatherby, the 210, this is a no betting race. Then the 245, we've got two here. We've got Art of Diplomacy and Marshalled. One of those two will return a hundred pounds and made for you would be the lesser amount. Into the 320, we've got one here, Harrell du Marais, that would return £100, and Royal Mare would be the lesser amount. Into the 355, we've got four going for us, Good Luck Charm, or Good Look Charm, I should have said, Yes Day, Know When to Hold Them, and Idem, one of those four would return £100, and Magical King would be the lower amount. Then into the 430, just the one go here. This is Imperial Alex because of the price. Then in the 505, we've got It's Maisie and Bully and Boss. One of those two would return £100 and the lower amount from Kinder Kid. And the last race at Weatherby will be a no bet. So I'll be back for the results show tonight and happy punting this afternoon.